Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Home Book. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add algebraic expressions using an interesting and creative activity. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have many more such maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all of them on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors and a bottle of glue. Aim of this art integrated project is to learn addition of two algebraic expressions with the help of activity. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Students, we also have separate videos on how to do subtraction and multiplication of algebraic expressions using the interesting and creative activities. So I will recommend you to watch these videos. You will find the link to these videos below in the description box. First, let's understand terms and factors. Terms are added to form expressions. Let's consider the expression 4x plus 5. This expression is made up of two terms, 4x and 5. Terms themselves can be formed as the product of factors. For this, consider the first term, 4x. This term has two factors, 4 and x. While the second term, 5, is made up of just one factor, that is 5. Now, let's understand coefficient. For this, consider an expression 7xy minus 5x. So, here, what are the terms of this expression? 7xy and minus 5x. Factors of 7xy are 7, x and y. And factors of minus 5x are minus 5 and x. Now students, the numerical factor of a term is called the coefficient. So here 7 is the coefficient of first term 7xy and minus 5 is the coefficient of second term minus 5x. Now let's understand what are like terms which are very important to add or subtract algebraic expressions. So, when the terms have same algebraic factors, such terms are called like terms. For example, consider two algebraic expressions 2x square minus 3x and 5x square minus 4. Here, 2x square and 5x square are like terms because they have same algebraic factors. Next, what are unlike terms? When the terms have different algebraic factors, such terms are called unlike terms. For example, x square minus 5x and y square minus 7. Here, x square and y square are unlike terms 
because they have different algebraic factors. Similarly, minus 5x and y square are also unlike terms. Students, we have an interesting working model to understand and learn type of numbers. I would recommend you to watch this video. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now let's start with the activity. In the first step, take a red colored sheet and paste a green colored sheet on it. Now on this, draw squares of dimension 1 into 1 units as shown here. And then carefully cut out these squares using pair of scissors. In the next step, take another red colored sheet and paste a green colored sheet on it. Now students, draw rectangles of dimension x into 1 on the sheet as shown here. And then again, carefully cut out these rectangles with the help of pair of scissors. Now students, again, Take another red colored sheet and paste a green colored sheet on it. And this time we will draw and cut out squares of dimension x into x units on it. Students, we have lot of art integrated activities on integers like Addition and subtraction of integers, multiplication and division of integers. So, do watch these videos. So, we have cut out small squares of dimension 1 into 1 units, rectangles of dimension x into 1 units, and big squares of dimension x into x units. Students, in these cutouts, we will use green side to represent positive term and red side to represent negative term. For small square, green side will represent 1 and red side will represent minus 1. In the same way, in rectangles, the green side represents x and red side represents minus x. And in big squares, green side will represent x square and red side will represent minus x square. So now we have done the preparation. So let's add the two algebraic expressions. We will add 3x square minus 4x plus 5 and 2x square plus 5x minus 3 with the help of this activity. Now let's represent the first expression 3x square minus 4x plus 5. First, let's represent term 5 by putting 5 green small squares. Next, represent term minus 4x. For this, we will put 4 red rectangles. And then, we will represent term 3x square using 3 green big squares. In the same way, let's represent the second expression which is 2x square plus 5x minus 3. First, we will represent term 
minus 3 by putting 3 red small squares. Next, let's represent term 5x. We will put 5 green rectangles for it. And then we will represent term 2x square using 2 green big square. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Now students, to add these two expressions, let's combine the cutouts and place them as like terms as shown here. Now, let's cancel the red and green cutouts of same size. So, this minus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled. This one also gets cancelled. And the third pair of minus 1 and plus 1 also gets cancelled. So, what are we left with? We are left with two green small squares which means plus 2. Similarly, we will also cancel all pairs of minus x and x. And we are left with only one green rectangle which means plus x. Next, there is nothing to cancel in these big green squares. So, we will just add them and get 5x square. So, the sum of two given algebraic expressions is 5x square plus x plus 2. So, students, this is how we can add two algebraic expressions with the help of this activity. Students, we also have an activity on how to solve linear equation in one variable. I am sure you will find this video very useful for you. The link to this video is below in the description box. Let's add another two algebraic expressions using this activity. We have to add x square minus 3x plus 4 and 3x square minus 2. First, let's represent the first algebraic expression which is x square minus 3x plus 4. First, we will represent term 4 by putting 4 green small squares. Then we will represent term minus 3x by putting 3 red rectangles. And then we will represent term x square by using 1 green big square. Similarly, we will represent second algebraic expression which is 3x square minus 2. First, let's represent term minus 2 by putting 2 red small squares. And then we will represent the term 3x square by using 3 green big squares. Now students, to add these two expressions, let's combine the cutouts and place them as like terms as shown here. Next, we will cancel the red and green cutouts of same size. So this minus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled and this one also gets cancelled. So we are left with two green small squares 
which means plus 2. Now let's move further. Here there is nothing to cancel. So let's just add them and we get minus 3x. Similarly, we will add these 4 big green squares. We get 4x square. So sum of these two algebraic expressions is 4x square minus 3x plus 2. So students, this is the end of our video. And now I am sure you will never forget how to add algebraic expressions. And do watch part 2 of this video where we will learn how to subtract algebraic expressions using the same interesting activity.